Cause it's just loose lips I try better than I sing So go ahead and enjoy Yeah, I was like, I want to write a book I was reading people like Jacqueline Wilson Benjamin Zephaniah, Mallory Blackman And like, I just had no fear This is the thing when you're younger Like, you're just fearless And you feel like you can do anything Whereas now, you're more cautious when you approach anything So yeah, I was like, I want to write a book I didn't know how to do it But I wanted to do it And I remember sitting down at 15 um, Back when you had like the big old square computers and I used to come home from school and just used to write my short stories. So some of the stories I'd actually written when I was 12 in my English lessons. So I just took some of those stories and I developed them even further into actually longer short stories. Um, so yeah, I just started writing it at 15. And then by 16, I was a published author. I think I wrote the book all in all in about nine to 10 months. How did so, you yeah. go through the process of writing it to then get it published? Because these are all like crazy things to be achieving. Yeah, I, honestly, I, I, I'm, I feel really blessed. Um, literally sat down and wrote the book. Again, I didn't know anything about publishing. Um, and I still don't, to be honest. Like, <laughs> but um, yeah, my parents at the time kind of took control of the whole process and they were approached by a publishing company in Redditch who really wanted to publish my book so um I went through them and then from there um the voice newspaper I don't know if you know the voice yeah. but they got in touch and they wanted to make me their um front page story so yeah just kind of the platform was there from there I went on to be interviewed on the BBC radio on Midlands Today um, and I got so many great opportunities out of that um, and then last year I decided to republish it because so many people were asking me about it because it had been discontinued so I was just like you know what yeah now is the time to re-release and I wanted to switch up the narratives so I made all the narratives in the book from a female narrative um, and I really wanted to kind of point out more diverse characters as well in the book so it's got a different feel from the first one um, but oh my gosh I cannot believe that because at, at the time when I was 16 I wrote a letter to Benjamin Zephaniah and I was just like, oh my gosh, like he's so inspiring, please read my book. And he wrote me back. And then fast forward 10 years, he came into the BBC for like a talk. And I saw him and I was like, I literally showed him a picture of the letter. I was like, remember me? Like you wrote me a letter when I was 16. Um, and then, yeah, I kept in touch with him. And um, I sent him a book and he sent me a testimonial to say that he loved the book. And you have no idea how it feels to have the Benjamin, legendary Benjamin Zephaniah, to say that your book is dope. As far as I'm concerned, everyone else's opinion don't matter now. Gets like, a light I, <laughs> you can say my book is rubbish, but I can say, but Benjamin Zephaniah said it was great. So, That's how it. you doing? It's sensational. <laughs> it's sensational. It's like, I mean, is is is. Is this still a, a vocation, an aspiration that you want to continue with the writing side? Absolutely. I love to write. Writing will never, ever, ever die in me. Like, even if I don't do anything else, I have to write. I feel like it's my way, especially, like I said to you, when I was a child, um, because I went through so much, I guess, I guess I, got, I went through an identity crisis in terms of, not feeling like I was good enough the way I was because of how people used to attack me with words. So my way to really, I guess, help myself back then when I didn't realise was writing. I used to write everything. Like, I used to write my pain. I used to write how I was feeling. I used to write about, like, because I was anxious. I was a very anxious child going to school. Thinking about going to school made me so anxious. Walking across the playground made me anxious. Like, it was just a very anxious time of my life. And having my journal, like, I was having my best friend. It was a way of me 
being able to express anything that I was feeling. So I can't, I cannot imagine you taking writing away from me. <laughs> Without getting too deep, is that one of the reasons why maybe you don't want to go back over them books because it might open a window to where you are, even though it's still a part of you and you acknowledge it, but you've come through that. It's like you don't need to revisit that. Is that one of the reasons? I think kind of. Um, like you said, I think when you... Is that such a good question? Honestly, like, yeah, like sometimes you can you can move on, but you don't need to revisit. Yeah, to be reminded. So, and you know what? Maybe I will get to the stage one day where I'm just like, I can read this. But yeah, I think it would be hard for me, looking back now, to realize I was so young and to think, gosh, I felt like this at eight. Like, that's quite emotional. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, we'll leave that there for that. I respect that <laughs> Cause it's just love